of all the prosecution witnesses that have testified and been cross-examined, no proof of legally sufficient evidence could be made against the defendants, Kin Mongza told reporters after the hearing. It's suitable for the defense lawyers to ask for the release at this stage, he said, adding that there had been discrepancies in the testimony of some witnesses. He declined to elaborate. Government and police spokespeople have declined to comment on the case, citing the ongoing court proceedings. W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo have been in custody since their arrest on December 12. Previous police witnesses, however, have said the reporters were stopped and searched at a traffic checkpoint by officers who were unaware they were journalists, and found to be holding in their hands documents relating to security force deployments in Rakhine. Journalists who are in the insane prison at the moment would like to say to the newly elected president that we are now in insane prison because we covered news, we are facing court because we found out the unjust things, he told reporters. I would like to ask the new president to bring about media freedom for the press. Calls to the spokesman for Myanmar's civilian government seeking comment went unanswered. Myanmar's ambassador to the United Nations, Ha Du Swan, said last month that the journalists were not arrested for reporting a story, but were accused of illegally possessing confidential government documents. Senior UN officials, Western nations and press freedom advocates have called for the release of the journalists. Diplomats from Australia, the European Union, Denmark and the Netherlands were among those who attended Wednesday's hearing.